Hello, I'm back. Uh, basically continuing the discussion from the last video. Uh, yeah, I've noticed this not only in the Fire Emblem series, but in other series as well. Um, about class balancing. They seem to like swordsmen more than they do the other classes. Uh, I think, when I think Shining Force, uh, a lot of their series dealt with a lot of swordsmen class uh, characters. Uh, they also favored uh, knights a lot as enemy units. So I kind of think that they should kind of re kind of rethink and tr experiment with other unit types besides that. Uh, make make the difficulty level a little bit higher. Uh, And kind of go away from the cliches too much. Uh, and Sheena sure has a lot of uh, agility. <laughs> yeah, uh, level one, she out does a thief. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And now she's level 2. <laughs> Game more <horse> speed. <laughs> but, uh... I know they balanced the Peg Knights a little bit more from there, but... Yeah, that's something that's kind of always kind of made, kinda made it funny. But, yeah, it, they should need to show some more uh, Axemen love. I know they had one axe lord, but uh, really, outside of lord class, they need to expand it more and make them do more besides be enemies. Uh, also, the animations here are a little bit, a little more interesting than the original. Than the Game Boy uh, animations, I never seen the uh, yeah I never seen the GameCube uh, animations yet, but uh, I know for the Game Boy some of the animations were cool, but some of them were kind of more blocky and stocky. In other words, they just kind of moved, stopped the sector, and all of a sudden they poofed at the other end of the screen. Some of them were really elaborate and really cool, like the Mirrodin's like guys animation was really badass. Uh, but <laughs> some of them were rather bland. So it kind of makes me wonder how they're going to do the attack animations for uh, for the Wii and stuff. Uh, I, I know that there there is a great community for spriters and all that. Uh, spriters are basically like like what you see on the screen right now. Uh, those are called two, those are like two dimensional sprites, and then there's the combat sprites, which uh, you saw like during the combat screen and stuff, where they can make animated sprites. Uh, they're more more visual than this. But uh, pretty much, you take like a sprite sheet, and then you uh, make an make like a whole bunch of little flash, like make you know like you would like a normal film or something, and just have them re repeat like the so many gifts and stuff. Uh, it's pretty neat. I don't know how to do it myself though, uh, but it always f was fun. I had somebody once. Uh, I can't, I can't find the GIF anymore, but there, there was one who uh, made it, who made a sprite, uh, basically with a thief uh, equipping a Durandel sword on a peg knight. Well, I mean, mounted on a peg knight. And I kind of found that kind of interesting. 
I, but that was kind of uh, somebody drew that for me uh, way back when. Like I said, I don't have the picture anymore. Kind of stinks. But I do know that there's many Fire Emblem fan forms, and if you go into go into a couple, I'm quite sure you'll find a writer. Still, it looks weird with green hair. Anyway. Anyway, like I said, uh, at the beginning of this video, what I'm going to do is pretty much when I get to the final part, it'll be the longest, and everything else will be around 12 minutes. Uh, so pretty much, if you're doing this, just make sure to remember that every final part of the level is uh, the longest. Generally, at the final end of the levels is when you start buying equipment, uh, getting your characters all sorted away, and all that to get ready for the next chapter, so that's why they're always the longest. And plus, you have all these little movement scenes like this where they're all pretty much camp that HQ area, and you gotta like spend a ton of moves just getting to the guy. Shining Force was a little bit better at that, at least then they had the boss characters chase you. But first this time they keep them camped. And I know they make this like a thousand times easier with the join feature as well. And there's nothing interesting there. And here's a storage building, in case you want to store something. But, as far as the Fire Emblem for this set goes, uh... Hey, that's really all I had to talk about for right now. Uh... I just hope that they don't make this into a... Uh, for future installments, I hope they don't turn this into a Final Fantasy. Um... I'm sorry, Cloud, but you've just had too much screen time. You don't need to more. Uh, same with Yuna. Sorry, just I don't like I don't like that too much. Uh, I mean, I can understand you wanting to have continuity in a game world, but seriously, that's way too many games for one game. <laughs> like Final Fantasy VII had Crisis Core, had uh, let's see, they they had uh, Advent Children. They've had. Uh, cameos in um, what was that one game? Oh, doggone, what was it? The one with Sora in it. Kingdom Hearts, that was it. Uh, I mean, just way too much. Uh, same with Yuna, just two games. We had two games, and then that. Oh, yeah, and then Dirt Hers, too. I mean, just way too many games. Uh, I mean, I, I understand you like fan service, but really, that's too much. <laughs> I mean, their level of detail and plot is good and all, but I'm sorry, but one winged angel drill being spammed 50 million times just to have that track on there is a little annoying. Uh, and now there's and they're still pushing that cameo nonsense. Uh, I think there's like one. I think there's one more where they like bring in like 
all sorts of characters from all different series on uh, all together. And like I said, I don't like I don't like that. Uh, I mean, sure, people fanboys would love a Squall vs. Cloud fight and whatnot, but to me, I, I don't think really. I don't really care. I think you're just pushing it too hard and you're just being a little bit greedy on that. Uh, also the same thing with like pushing a Janir, like take, taking its name, taking a, a game's name and then doing something completely different with it. Shining Force was a really big culprit of this and so was uh, Seek the, the Mana series as well. They, they started abusing it too much. Uh, what I'm talking about there is if you play the old uh, Secret of Mana, uh, Seeking the Zetsu 3, uh, Legend of Mana, uh, and then you compare, and then I think it was like one of the other Mana games for the Game Boy, uh, it was fine, and then they just kind of went with, with the PS2, they went with uh, platforming, and then it kind of stuck. Uh, and the same thing with Shining Force. Uh, Shining Force had it was originally a turn-based strat, and then uh, ended up they started turning that into a action game. Which I mean, a couple of the games weren't too bad, uh, but it just really I didn't. As a fan person, I don't really like that. I think that it should keep at least somewhat to the theme of it. And it kind of makes me wonder why you want to change the junior of a game. Uh, but yeah, there's like many culprits of this. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, then Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, Advanced 2. Uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't like the law system too much. And, and I'll probably bring that law system up again at a later date, but honestly, anything that restricts the player, I don't like it. If that's artificial difficulty. Uh, I realize you're going for different, but uh, at the same time, like, uh, it's... Eh, I don't know. It doesn't work. For me, anyway. I just want to play the game. I don't want to have to worry about all of a sudden uh, breaking some mini game rule that's ridiculous, or and, and then all of a sudden lose because oops, uh, my character build was not for whatever the walls was for the time. Uh, I mean, any stupid, ridiculous auto lose condition like that is always bad. That's artificial difficulty. Basically, that would be the equivalent of a Ninja Gaiden Owl. <laughs> For those who've played Ninja Gaiden, you know exactly what I'm talking about with the Ninja Gaiden Owl. Basically, it's one of those platform screens where you're running and you're jumping across platforms, and yeah, and the platform is barely on screen, you jump to the platform, and all of a sudden an owl runs and swacks you out of the blue, and it knocks you into a pit. Uh, if you want, to, if you're still not understanding what's going on, I recommend you watch Angry Video Game Nerd's review of Ninja Gaiden, and you'll clearly see how much of what I mean. Uh, but honestly, like I said, that is just anything that's artificial. It gets annoying. It's it's just like silly mystical pixie dust rules. I mean, uh, I realize that you want to get make the games marketable, but at the same time, uh, if you nerf the difficulty, you're losing a lot of your core uh, players. It's kind of the same way if I am with first-person shooters. I don't like uh, arena-based combat. And I can hardly find any that are not arena-based combat. 
and it's either that or they force force feed ram your, their graphics up your butt, and that gets annoying too. Uh, and I will constantly say that, but uh, I, you know, I'll lay off on that one for this video because I know I say that like quite often. But see, here's kind of what I was meaning by hand axe being so fun. It's basically like javelin and hand axe. Pretty much means that you can counterattack anything, and it's easy to be critical with if your character is high enough. So it's kind of cool. And we're going for epic miss. And let's try this again. One damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I think this is where we actually use the rapier. <laughs> but yeah, it just it, like I said, I don't understand what it is with game developers. They say they they focus too much on the graphics and not enough on the gameplay. Uh, and that's kind of why I like to show off older games more than I do uh, the PS1 games. Is just because I like the uh, I like what they tried then. It was more about gameplay than it was about uh, graphics. And I kind of like to see that again. And like I said, I, I understand that everybody like need has ADD moments and would prefer something shiny to look at. Uh, like that uncharted thing looks rather, rather fancy and nice for a first-person shooter. Oh, looks like we found the relief that Renee was looking for. Well, that's good. Let's go ahead and give her it. But yeah, uh, I mean gamers aren't just 13 to 18. People are old and like to play games too. You know, give us some love. But anyway, uh, this is the end of level 3, so uh, the next set of videos will be uh, back to just breed, so uh, later, and uh, have some fun, and happy gaming. Uh, by the way, uh, It's War Around has started, so come by itswar.net and come try around with us. Uh, I have set up guides already up for you. so. Come on by and try it out. Uh, so later. And wow, that's a lot of cash. <laughs> but anyway.